Hi, sixth grade. Um, this is going to be an easy week and a very short video. So I'm really excited. It's a PBL week, project-based learning, which means that you're going to explore. You're going to take things, create it, come up with an idea and test it and try it over and over again until you're successful. So here is your challenge, your project-based learning for this week. You need to build a car that is powered by a balloon. When I mean powered by a balloon, it literally means you blow up the balloon. It should be attached to your car and you let go of the balloon and it should be powered by that push that's coming from the balloon. Push and kind of, yeah. Um, remember gravity, not gravity, sorry, the force. If it goes one way, it's gonna keep going and everything. So there's something pushing on it. So we're using everything we learned these last couple weeks and applying it to actually building an amazing balloon power car. <laughs> so this is what you need to go and do. Uploaded in resources for you guys is an actual document that should say balloon power car or something similar, sixth grade. Um, and there's actually about three to four worksheets that are in this little packet. You have to scroll down in order to find them. But what you're gonna do is it's gonna take you step by step through this process. And it begins with brainstorming, drawing it, writing about it, um, going architect, building it. I mean, what supplies you're gonna use and um, testing it. I mean, it's the whole shebang for STEM. Um, so that's what our project is. Your job is to go through step by step. Don't fill it all out at once. Like, like I'm just gonna sit here and I'm gonna pretend that I tested and everything. Take the whole week and build on this thing. Spend the first day planning it out and everything, gather your supplies. Please only use things around the house. Don't tell mom and dad, I have to go to Walmart, which you probably can't anyway right now. Um, and I have to go spend $100. That's not the point of this project. The point is to, to build, to engineer in everything. So, and to put what you've learned to the test. So your challenge though, is that you have to make this balloon car go at least five feet, okay? So that's the, that's the first challenge. And what we're gonna do is um, you record it and send it to me. And throughout the next couple weeks, maybe even next, just the week after, I'm going to say, hey, apply this kind of incline plane and let's see who can go the furthest. Um, actually, it's this week. So um, that will be up later this week and you guys won't know when I pop it up, so you gotta be used to finding it. You're building your car, fill out the packet. The packet is due back to me. Make sure complete sentences, grammar is correct, coloring wherever it's needed, et cetera, et cetera, um, and fill out every part. No vocab, um, and then you send that to me with a picture of your car and also a video of your car going the five feet. So you're gonna wanna make sure you have like a yardstick or um, a tape measure or something next to that car traveling so you can actually show me, hey, it went five feet, because I know how easy it is to take a car put in front of the five feet mark and take a picture. That doesn't count. <laughs> you have to have actual evidence that your car went five feet. So, um, and you cannot use a car that you have built before. So if you are one of those race car derby kids that's amazing at building these things, um, you gotta use stuff from around the house and start all over. And I know, I know if it was something you built like for Boy Scouts or something, just saying. <laughs> okay. So enjoy your project-based learning this week, um, accept the challenge, and the winner um, of who, I'm gonna, when I propose the incline plane, whoever has the car that goes the furthest on that incline plane, so you wanna really think about this. Remember the longer the ramp, the better the, mom, the, better the length um, that it goes, or the less work that's put in. Um, so you really wanna think about that. Um, the winner of whoever's car goes the furthest with actual evidence of it being done and measuring it will have no homework from me the week after. So that means your excuse from vocabulary and whatever homework assignment is after that. So it's like a free week of science, free 100s. Um, oh yes, and also remember there is a Q-U-I-Z at the end of this week, quiz. Look on Friday's lesson plans, project-based learning plus a quiz. All right, it's the exact same as before. Click on the website, put the code in, take it, send it to me, done. So you don't even have to tell me that you completed it. I will see it by the end of the week or whenever I check it. So 
Have fun, sixth grade. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with.